when you're building your catapult, there's a couple of different parts that you need to include. First is the fulcrum. Fulcrum is in the center. Here it's the red triangle that the arm is sitting on. It kind of looks like a seesaw. The blue load is where you're going to put whatever you want to fling. The effort, that's the side of the arm where when you push down on it, it's going to cause the load to come up the opposite direction and fly over. This is Newton's law of motion where to every action there's an, an equal and opposite reaction. So when the effort side of the arm is pushed down, the arm moves, the lever moves on the fulcrum and the load will fly up into the air. Here is another picture of a catapult. It has all the same parts. It's just a little bit more complicated. You have the base at the bottom with some wheels attached. The base is where the fulcrum, again the center part, is attached. The arm is what's going to hold the load or the payload in a bucket. In this case it looks like a stone. And here, in order to make the load fling up into the air, instead of pushing down on the other side of the arm, what we're going to do is the restraining rope we're going to cut it, and when you cut that, again, the same law of motion, it's going to go from potential energy into kinetic energy, and the load is going to fly through the air. So the basic parts that you need in your catapult are the base, and the base usually either um, the fulcrum sits on the base or it's attached to the base. You need the arm of some sort, which is going to hold the load, and then the frame is the rest of the part of the catapult. Here's just one more example. It is made out of Legos. Again, you see all the same parts. You see the base, and then the fulcrum is where the arm is going to pivot. We have the load on the left side, and then effort is on the right side. When you push down, on the right side, the load from the left side is going to fling up into the air. These are the main basic parts of a catapult. There's probably a thousand different ways to make a catapult, but these are the basic parts you need. We have resources listed below that have probably about 30 different ideas of what you can use to make your catapult and what it can look like. Um, it, it's up to your imagination. So check out the resources and we'd love to see a picture of your catapult.